Hello everyone, this is Metal Kid Goth, back for another Pokemon Leaf Green video. In the last episode, we explored four islands, we... Maltov became a father, and we stopped Team Rocket from poaching Pokemon in the Icefall Tavern. So yeah, it was a pretty eventful episode, I'd say, and in this episode, we're gonna be moving on to five islands. We were told to kind of go there because Team Rocket has their little headquarters there, and so, well, let's do it! Off we go to Five Islands! Still the same music as Four Island, but welcome to Five Island. Good guy to say. It's been getting busier around these parts lately. I haven't been catching many good fish lately either. Ah, uh, poor him. What does this guy say? Oh, this stinks. I wanted to play in the meadow, but they put up a weird building on it, so I can't play there. Uh, hmm, that seems like a hint of where to go. Let's get here. Ah, oh, this remix. Hmm. Ah, I'll let you guys hear it for a bit. Okay, that's enough of that. I don't want copyrights to get me. But still, this music is really nostalgic. As someone who had like gold as like a kid, like I'm surprised you guys kind of knew this about me. But I grew up on Gen 3. But yet, oh, Pokemon Christ interrupted music. But in all seriousness, well, hey, I got this. I got Pokemon Gold as a kid, and well, it was okay. This strict area is strictly off limits. Get out! No, I will not. But in all seriousness, yeah, I got Pokemon Gold, I believe, as a kid. It was either Gold or Silver, it was one or the other. My cousin had Crystal, but I never had Crystal until, like, my high school years. But in all seriousness, I played... I have nostalgia for Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon... I think it was Pokemon Gold, actually. Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Yellow, and the Gen 3 games. And so, yeah. Also, just get used to seeing a lot of... We're gonna be doing a lot of battles this episode, just letting you guys know. And you're gonna use Acid Armor. It's fun that was actually a... It, I don't know, the anime treated it like a signature for a four or some reason, even though Grimer moved it. I think maybe Grimer learned that move in Gen 3 out. I don't know if I'm gonna fact check that, that seems kind of like an obscure fact, uh, fact check. Let's hit it with a Fire Blast. I know I just spam Blade Flamethrower a lot, and that's because Fire Blast tends to miss. Oh, it, now it's gonna miss even more because Minimize is here. And it sucks I kinda put Rock Lee in the PC, but I wanna have my little baby that I got from Molotov. And I actually got the perfect name for when it hatches, so stay tuned for that. Let's beat up this muck here, and ah, dang it, I missed. And if you're wondering what- okay, darn it, I missed again. Uh, this muck just likes to use, eh, status moves. And not status moves in the terms of, like, poison and all that, it just likes to use lower your stats. And also raise its own evasion. I'm still surprised that Minimize actually can negate evasion. I'm, I, I know I said that, like, in the previous episode, in, like, the episode with the Elite Four and Victory Road, but that is such a cool thing, and I kind of wish that Minimize had more, no, not Minimize, had Force I had more, like, more stuff you could do with it, like, oh, hey, a new Pokemon, this is Sentry, it's Loratica of Johto, as they say, as the cool kids call it, and sorry to offend you by calling you, by comparing you to a rat, but let's see if you can get the ball, one, two, three, yeah, there we go. Caught it. It evolved into one of the most... Okay. Sentry, a very cautious Pokémon. It raises itself using its tail to get a better view of its surroundings. And nope, I'm not gonna nickname it, but it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna say that much. And hey, a female grunt. Surprised we run into these now. 
Yeah, it took a whole... It took a whole two generations before we got female grunts. But unless you count the anime. Oh, speaking of that, did you guys hear the news lately about, like, how... How they're gonna... Like, how Ash is kind of having his final episodes? It's kind of crazy to think that, like... Ash, the person we grew up with, is now going to be replaced, but, like, it kind of, it kind of makes sense. He's the world champion. What else is there left to him to do? Catch them all? Um, that's kind of what Go tried to do, I guess, but in all seriousness, it's just kind of crazy that we've come, like, a full circle, I'd say. Let's just hope... I think one thing I kind of hope they do is that... Like, starting from now on, they start, like, doing, like, regional protagonists, kind of like they do in the Adventures manga. That'd be pretty cool. Because they did that in, like, the mangas, and I doubt they'll ever adapt the manga, because the mangas have some pretty gory scenes, and it has some pretty adult scenes, surprisingly. But, the manga's pretty cool. I, I really need to read more of it, but I do have, I do have, like, the first generation manga, of course. <laughs> uh. But yeah, it's really cool to read. Though it comes through so much online, so yeah, keep out, watch out for that. <laughs> oh, they do have some at Barnes and Noble. I don't know. Anyway, sorry, Grunt. I know you're the first female Grunt to be found in this game, but I could be wrong. I think I think she is the first female Grunt. Oh, that makes me furious. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's keep moving up. And here we have this guy here. And you know what? I kind of want to have, you know what, hipster, you need you need some leveling up too. There's nothing past here except the warehouse, so what brings you here? I want to check out the warehouse, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, if there's nothing past here besides the warehouse, why else would I be here? But yeah, we have coughing here. And coughing's pretty, like, I know, I know I've said this before, but coughing and weaving are pretty good Pokemon. I just... I, I've used them a few times in my playthroughs. Hey, don't poison me, buddy. And you know what? You know what we do to people who try to poison people? Lightning strike them down. Roland is just an incarnation of Zeus. That's what we. That's the true story. I mean, it's all there. He knows. He knows lightning moves. He has an explosive temper. Okay, I'm just joking with ya. Also, I kinda like the inverted colors that Weezing has when he gets struck by lightning. And haha, you're full of paralyzed. I was gonna say poison. Don't I miss? Or not, I'm probably gonna miss now. <laughs> like, it's inverted colors while it's being struck by lightning look like it's shiny color. It's shiny color is like all blue, kinda. Who knows, Future Doc might put it up there. Never know. Anyway, that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, what did you think was gonna happen, buddy? You don't really think through things. Doc entered a password. Goldie need log. Another password is needed to open the door. So yeah, we are pretty much, there's no reason to, we don't know the other password, so we're gonna have to come back here later. Also, if we surf here, I never checked what's over here. There could be something interesting. Memorial Pillar. I'm the eldest of the Bird Brothers. The best thing about birds is it has to be your beak. I never owned birds, but I don't know. I thought it would be the fact that it can fly. Or the fact that they are, are pretty smart animals. But, hey, whatever. The fact that I have beaks is pretty interesting. Anyway, I have the perfect Pokemon for you, of course. Rolling's just gonna destroy everything. You have a Pidgey and a Pidgeotto. You're you're trying to be the new Volkner. Or okay, Faulkner, not Volkner. I, I I mixed the two up. Or I just I just pronounce them weird because Faulkner is like, you know, the bird dude from generation one, two and he I'm surprised he never had a hoo hoo on his team. He never had any Gen 2 Pokemon and he's a Gen 2 gym leader. Like that's what I gotta say about a lot of Gen 2 gym leaders. They don't have they don't have any Gen 2 Pokemon to call their own, like why does Chuck not have a Hitmonlee, or, like, a fighting type from that generation? Or why does it, 
Well, what is it? Faulkner? Okay, yeah, Faulkner. I'm not gonna say Faulkner. That's a different person. <laughs> Why doesn't Faulkner have a hoop boot or a knockback? It's all beyond me. And hell, he gets one in the rematch, I think. Like, hell, even giving him, like, a Zatu or something really interesting would have been pretty interesting. Here we go. Hero is... There's no need to fear a Fero. Haha. <laughs> Level 51! Yeah, this is like the perfect place to start grinding. This this island. This island has a lot of trainers, and this is just one of the branching off areas you can go to. Let's just keep going down. Ah, darn it. A hot pip! I've used a hot pip. It, trust me, they are not worth it. I've used one before, and oh man, it doesn't work really any good attack. It's mainly there for status. Two, three. I'm surprised I'm getting away with catching these Pokemon at full health, no status. Guess that's why we also brought lettuce with us. And no, I do not want to nickname the topic. Let's see, what, what do you have to say? I'm the youngest of the Bird Brothers. Okay, so there's only two of them. Has to be the what did what did it say the down? Hey, a hoot hoot. as soon as I talked about how Faulkner doesn't have a yeah Faulkner doesn't have a hoot hoot. Just there it is, a hoot hoot. It's not it's it's not even for Faulkner anyway. I know I'm just clowning on that. I just know I'm clowning on him, but he's like the first gym leader, and even even if you pick Chikorita, he's pretty easy. Surprisingly, actually, in, like, Gen 2 games... Okay, well, if, it's, if we're talking the remake, he's a bit stronger, but, like, if we're talking... I don't know. If we're talking, like, the, the first, the second generation, yeah, he's pretty terrible in that game, because... Surprisingly, Cynical's actually the weakest choice for, like, the Gen 2 games, but if you're playing, I guess, the remakes, he's a bit stronger, and he has... He has the move Roost, and he actually has Wine moves, so... Yeah, Chicory is the worst, obviously, but... That's just an interesting fact. I don't know why I want to talk about him so much today, but whatever. If you go down here... Look what it is. Scrub, scrub. Oh, hello! Your Pokémon looks healthy. This is where I buried my Onyx. Its name was Tectonix. Okay, not gonna lie. Even though that kind of seems like a joke name, I kind of like it. Well, rest in peace. Here lies Tectonix. Is engraved on the board. There is a lemonade placed in front of the grave. Oh, for the love of God, do not take the lemonade. That would have been really disrespectful to a dead Pokemon. We got a metal coat. We can take that, though. So, yeah, speaking of metal coat and onyx, if you use a metal coat on an onyx, you can evolve it. You can also do that to Caesar, which I did before, and I mentioned that in the last video about how I try to trade a I tried to use Metal Coat on it, dang it. So, I'm gonna try to make sure I cut out some of these battles unless we run into a new Pokemon. Okay, we're back on Five Isle Meadow. Let's go back to the city and heal up. Of course, that's here. Okay, we're back. And, yeah, I'm, I'm really stubborn and I do not want to use my repels because I want to catch as much Pokemon as I can. Many new Pokemon, of course, is what I'm saying. So let's heal up. Okay, what else? What the oh, did we go in here yet? No, we haven't. What do you have to say? Don't worry about buying anything for dinner tonight. That's what my husband would say when he went off fishing today. I'm not sure if I can count on him to live up to that promise. Having fish for dinner again? Well, fish is good, but yeah, gotta mix it up sometimes. Okay, Grim, let's go. Funny thing about the water labyrinth here, there's actually a lot of flying Pokemon you find in the water. Kind of ridiculous, I know. And let's go this way. Over here we have... Let's see, I might let- you know what, Roland? I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna start having hipster come out now. Hmm, the angle, it's not quite, it's not quite there. We have a painter, new, new trainer class, and we have a smear goal. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna hit it with hypnosis. Haha. Yeah, Smeargle could only really know one move, but that move is basically to learn every move in the game. And it's actually what got it's actually I'm gonna say this, it's got what it's what it's what got Dark Ride pretty much it's what pretty much made Dark Ride pretty much worthless because it got rid of it made its it made its signature move Dark Void, which can put things to sleep pretty effectively. It nerfed its accuracy to the ground, so to the point where Dark Ride just needs to run hypnosis if you ever want to use it competitively. Which sucks. They should have just made it so it's like Smeargle can't learn Dark Void, but whatever. And I just think it's difficult to use because you have to predict what Pokemon you have to. I'm visiting my friend's retreat, don't you know? But yeah, these, the, this, these kind of, this area is kind of where you fight a bunch of rich people. So we're pretty much just robbing the rich by beating them in battles. Ever think about that? And how is that not fully evolved? It's a hop at that level 48. Come on. As much as I clown on jump pluck, jump pluck, it should be a jump pluck by now. What are you trying to do? A non fully evolved run? Unless, unless you had like the move, unless you had the item. Okay, that's a little better. It's a, it's a second stage. Skip Bloom. <laughs> and I'm stubborn, I'm not switching. I'm letting Kipster get the experience, and she never really had the screen time last episode. Or I think she didn't have screen time in the last two episodes. I'm not sure. Anyway, just, I will hit it with a Psychic again. Yeah, pretty varied strategy, I know, but it's it's free XP. You gotta you gotta keep that in mind. It's free XP. Lady Jackie. Oh my, so strong. Yeah, see look how much money we get from doing these fights. This is a great place to grind up on money if you're poor, like me. And a double battle. Hey, that's good. That's always fun. And you know what? Let's let's do something interesting. Let's let lettuce and Molotov fight together. You never really get to see them interact. Like, I I'm treating this like, oh, it's not even a double battle. Boo. Boo, I say. Well, whatever. Let's see. Let's just teach it straight. Let's just, let's just, let's let Smeargle learn Sunny Day because we can't do anything. It, it, it's just gonna spam. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so apparently these Smeargles do know me. Apparently they, they were used- apparently they weren't just freshly caught Pokemon. So yeah, bounce is pretty much just fly, but it can paralyze someone. Ha, huh, you missed. I want you to sketch Sunny Day, come on! Let's see, does it have sketch? No, it doesn't. Apparently it doesn't. And wait, does it just have fly and bounce? Wow. That's kind of a funny move set. <coughs> Hi, you got burned by Queen Buddy. You know what? I'm not even gonna risk it anymore. You're not even worth me just trying to stall you out for PP. Just gonna take you out in the old fashioned way. You're on fire, you're gonna be even more on fire. Goodbye. <sighs> yes, and I also brought water to this recording this time because. My throat's gonna kill me if I don't do that. And if you check this house, we have Selfie's house. And no, not Selfie like the, you know, the thing you do with your phone, but like, actually, that's a pretty interesting name, Selfie. There's, that's apparently a problem I can interact with. Pokemon Journal, special feature, Cinnabar Gym Leader Blaine. Blaine is said to remove his dark shades only when he's thinking up a new quiz question. Hmm, interesting to know. Pretty picture of a Pokemon. Looks like it's feeling good. Eh, 
anyway, let's fight this lady. With these hands, I will create my victory. You wanna throw hands? Just one of my friends would say. And I love doing this. I'm just giving you sunny day to get the smear gold notes. Only no sketch. Does it no sketch? Come on. Nope. Apparently these smear golds are just random Pokemon, I guess, at this point. Like, I thought, like, it would have just been, like, you know, like, oh, I use sketch. Oh, I feel. But no, these trainers actually use strategy. Who would have thunk it? Surprisingly, surprisingly unpredictable trainers. I'm ashamed of this. The shame of this. I'm red face. Don't be feeling blue now, lady. Well, I'll arrange a celebration now. I was, trying, I was trying to do a rainbow pun, kind of. Do all the colors. Youngster Destin. It's my destiny, I will fight you. Okay, that was, that was even worse than the whole rainbow pun thing. And I love, I love setting up the sun anyway, I'm just gonna do it because... Scary face. With a face like... Well, Raticate has the face only a mother could love. I'm getting savage today, I know. And that move basically is, if you use that move, just do not switch when they use that move because it does, like, I don't know, double damage. Set the rat on fire! Pretty much just my strategy with Molotov, just set stuff on fire! And let's go for the more reliable flames that work for this. I told you this episode was gonna be battle heavy. This area is a lot has a lot more to explore than just your typical areas. Oops, I rushed things! Let's see, there's something else over here. You know what? I'm actually gonna do something pretty interesting. I'm actually gonna check the map because the map actually kinda gives me a sense of where I'm going. Okay, there's. Okay, I can go this way and then I can go this way. Okay. Well, we'll explore this area over here because I. It looks like it's just kinda closed off over here, but no, apparently you can go this way. Yep, there's just a maze here, or a mini maze. It's not even a maze. And how's our egg doing? Eh, the egg's still taking its sweet time hatching. You know what? Let's let... Eh, Grim, you go. You haven't had a fight this episode. I say the marine life if you got a resort agrees with me. Well, I didn't run into the marine life yet, but I guess I'll agree with you. Yeah. And here we go. And I'm actually kind of glad I kept Giga Drain on you, Grim. Because now I actually have a way to fight water types. And I got pointless healing. Belly Drum. <laughs> okay, so. Belly Drum is pretty cool. It's just. It cuts your health in half just to give you some boosts. But it's pretty, it's pretty good and competitive. And Grim leveled up. Tentacool. You know what we do to Tentacool? Hit him with a rock slide! Go back to the water in which you came, sir. And for your last Pokemon, Tentacruel. Okay. Hi, Lynch 2. How do you like that? Because Pinnacle always tended to like use Super Sonic. It's like, I make fun of them as the new bats the sea, but they actually have good stats to back it up. It, that's a shocker! You must be joking! I'm not joking, sir. I sent a prehistoric creature to beat all your Pokemon. And let's go check out this area. Lost Cave. Let's go inside. Let's talk to this guy. I thought this was an ancient ruin, but it's teeming with ghosts! We 
out Rune Maniac Lawson. Hey, that's, that's close to my name. <laughs> close to my actual name, as I must say. Anyway. Surf Attack. Yeah, just, if you're gonna have Rock-type Pokémon, Grim's just gonna completely destroy you. There's no two ways about it. Even if you are close in love with the team. Having four times weaknesses is not a good strategy. <laughs> Though Marowak is cool, I'll give you that. I didn't consider him for my team, after all. But, too bad. Ruin, Ruin Maniac Lawson was defeated. I need mercy! <clears throat> I'm trying to get out of here, but I always end up at the same spot. There's a ladder right next to you! What are you talking about? Sir! I know it's foggy in here, but sir, come on. Okay, so here's how this dungeon works, if I may be serious here. See these rocks? And think of, think of them as a clock. So it's 3 o'clock right now. And then... It's 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12. It's 12 o'clock. See? It's pretty simple once you think about it like a clock. And now it's 6 o'clock. And here's this lady. I think there's a mysterious power at work in this game. You don't say. It's like, it's like that one area in Ocarina of Time, the Lost Woods. Like, what caused it to, what caused it to always go back to the beginning? What's the secret there? It's almost as if some sort of force is sending us back to the door. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Natu is down. Name? I like Natu. Honestly, I've never really considered fully using a... I'm just gonna say, I've never used the Natu line in its entirety, or I've never, like, seriously considered it. Who knows? Maybe in the future I could use Natu. You never know. But I will kind of keep you in the dark about what my team is going to be for the next Pokemon. For the next Pokemon Let's Play. And don't I miss! Future Sight. He, he saw a vision in the future, and oh, I missed again. I know I'm going for... I know I'm going for the easy. I'm going to say, I know I'm going for the least inaccurate move in my set, but Rock Slide does super effective damage. How could I not? I just love the sound of that. That super effective damage sound. It just sounds so good in this game. It's just so satisfying to hear in Psychic Lore. If you don't go to the right tunnel, you won't go, go ahead. Double negatives? I don't know. But let's see. Yeah, do not go right. You go 6 o'clock. And then you go 3 o'clock. And then it's 1, 2, 3. Nine, nine o'clock. Yeah, you go back the way you came, and then she's gone now, and then it should be six o'clock. Then it's three o'clock. I'm surprised we haven't run into the ghost Pokemon that's here. You know what? Let's try to run into it, because it should be in here. Let's just run around in circles and see if we can find it, because there are wild Pokemon here. Oh, is this, is this it? Nope, it's just a Ghastly. So if you want to catch a Ghastly, and it's actually pretty high level, so you know what? I'm actually gonna try to catch it now. I need to complete my Pokedex anyway, even though I can't technically evolve it fully, and it's, you need to trade it. Now I'm actually glad I decided not to kill it, because it's using the Death Day Bond. Come on. Let's weaken it, because we can catch a pretty good ghost type here, even though there's technically only four ghosts you can find in Pokemon at this point in the game. Unless you're trading from the third generation! Though in all seriousness... In all seriousness, it is kind of crazy that there was only two ghost mines at this point. Like, we're playing if we're just talking about just Johto and Kanto. And we caught a Ghastly! So, I will find a way to kind of circumvent the trade evolutions, since I am playing it. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's 12, and hello. What do you intend to do with me? Let's 
see what this lady has to say. Lady Selfie, hey, the lady we saw, we saw earlier on the mailbox. Well, we didn't see her in the mailbox. What kind of SpongeBob logic is that? Payday! Hey, I like that game. And, oh, it's raining money. Okay, but yeah, Persian. Oh, right, I can't use the same move twice now. Oh, wait, never mind. No, it's, I think it's just I can't use the static moves or anything that isn't an attacking move. So, too bad. So, I will give you credit for using Persian. Persian is actually a pretty decent Pokemon. I, 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 I have a soft spot for normal types, so I'll just say that much. And yay, more money! It's raining money! Hit it with a rock slide! Critical hits! How do you like them apples? I have critical hits too! Oh, I was afraid you meant to, that you meant to harm me! I'm a ten-year-old lady. I... I wouldn't do that. I'm a gentleman. I am so glad that you happened here. You grew, I grew rather bored of walking and I'm feeling fatigued. May I ask you to take me home from here? I can walk- I can walk out of that cave, thank you very much. Thank you. You may go now. Okay, well, before we before we go back to the cave, I wanna I wanna show off the Pokemon down it. Oh, I do I know you from somewhere? Wow, rude! Like literally rude. Like I saved you, and now you forgot who I am five seconds later. Rude. Oh, that doesn't matter. I am exquisitely bored. Please hear my wish. I wish to see a Pokemon, a darling parrot, a parrot. A darling parrot. I want to see one right. Make my wish come true. And if you go back in, I'm curious to reset the cycle. I wish to see a Pokemon. A darling parrot. Okay, no, nope, apparently it's based on a timer, but a Paris, really. Anyway, I probably want to go to Paris at this point, lady. Okay, anyway, we're going back to the cave. See you then. Okay, we're here, and let's see if we can run into this thing. One hour later. How dare you not let me escape from you! Though Haunter is cool, we don't need to catch him. He just evolved immediately from that ghastly we got. And oh, you have Shadow Ball too. Too bad, I'm gonna defeat you. Critical hits. I have the power of hacks on my side. Come on, let's see. It's in here, I know it is. I know because they put Johto Pokemon everywhere, and yet this is Johto Pokemon, and no, it's not you, Haunter. You know what, let me switch out. Can I run away from you? Yes, I can. Two hours later. Show yourself already! I know you're a prankster, Pokemon, but come on out! I'll probably just cut this. No, it's not you, Colbat! Get out of here! Get out of here with that nonsense. Three hours later. Could you move it along? I'm out of funny transitions to make. There it is! Miss Revis! And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention something, but my future editor will probably... Not my future editor, my future self will let, will let you guys know what it is. And I probably will do it off screen, too. But yeah, here it is, Miss Revis! And if you're playing, if you're playing Fire Red, it's Murphro. And I need to put it to sleep first, if I want to catch it. Come on, put it to sleep. Darn it, I missed again. See, can I survive the Psywave? Nope, I cannot. But yeah, that's pretty much all I really came here to do. Like, before I realized, like, oh yeah, you can find items in the, in the, in certain pathways in the gate. I was just like, oh, you can catch Miss Grievous. 
I knew it was mischievous. I didn't. I didn't actually mix it up like with the whole fire red situation this time. And yeah, this is the only other ghost line you can catch in this game. It's all right. I mean, it's kind of hard to judge it in like its first three generate in its first two generations. It was it debuted it because you can only catch it in the post game. And there it is, Mistrevious, the Screech Pokemon. It likes playing mischievous tricks, such as screaming and wailing to startle people at night. And something I forgot to mention too is that the, that Mistrevious can be found much easier in item rooms. So yeah, enough of that. Back to whatever. Now we have one more place we're going to before we end it off here. We're going to the west. Oh, went the wrong way. This way. Yeah, it's a bit of a labyrinth as it, as the title suggests. And I'm still saving my potions. I know I'm. I know I'm just shooting myself in the foot by doing that and causing myself to edit more, but edit more cuts here. But whatever. I don't care. There's there's future dungeons we're going to that are gonna require us to. I don't know. Run away. You travel all over the place, don't you? You're not driving your Pokemon to Arsenal, are you? Let me take a look. Oh, it press featuring your Pokemon, right? I think you... <coughs> I think you can be entrusted with this. Please, I'd like you to have it. Unfortunately, you don't have enough space in this new part. Better come back for another time. Well, essentially what that guy's gonna give you is a Pokemon egg, and we will... I still wanted to show off... I guess I wanted to show off Pokemon eggs in another way, but... This is an excellent environment for raising Pokemon. Let's see, this person is a breeder. She has a lot of kind of free ball Pokemon, and they tend to be. They tend. She tend like they tend to have like I don't know six of them usually. And yet, Clefairy can just heal using Moonlight. Fun, I know, and hey, crit! Hooray for crit, again! Hydro Pump, uh-oh. Thank god I'm not a Fire-type. when we get to uh, the end. You know what, screw it, I'll just say it now. That guy gives you a Togepi. And Togepi is like... It was the poster child for, like, breeding new Pokemon, or, like, showing off new Pokemon eggs. Because Misty had one and tried to raise it, and then also it evolves into Togetic, and then... I'm just gonna say it was at one point pretty much a mascot of Gen 2. Since it was the first Gen 2 Pokemon to actually be fully kind of fleshed out. And no, I'm not talking about you, ho ho. But yeah, that's where we'll end it off. In the next episode, we're going to be heading to the next island. 
We still need that one password to enter the Walk Rocket Warehouse, and we still need to also find the rest of the gems. I don't know if they said it in, I don't know if they really mentioned that, but yeah, in the next episode, we're going to be hunting for either that password or the gem on the next pile. So, see you then. This is Metal Kid Doc signing out. There's your intro, there's your outro.